To understand cognitive load theory, it helps to first understand how our memory works. Researchers have identified three parts to our memory. Our sensory memory processes everything in our environment. It takes all of the information from our senses and filters it for anything of importance. Its duration is less than half a second unless it notices something worth paying attention to. When that happens, we become focused on specific pieces of information and these enter our short-term memory where they can stay for up to 30 seconds without too much effort. If we want to keep information for longer than 30 seconds, we must move it into our long-term memory. This is where information is filed, ready for us to retrieve when we need it. New information is linked with previous learning from related topics to help us retrieve it more effectively in the future. There seems to be no limit to the capacity of our long-term memory. The challenge is encoding the information and then being able to retrieve it once it is there. Cognitive load theory explains how information is transferred to the long-term memory. Understanding how this occurs enables us to make small changes to improve how quickly we can learn new information. Students, teachers and families can use the theory to create environments where learning and revision can occur more effectively. Remove unnecessary distractions to create a calm and quiet place to work. 